welcome to British TV and stuff. Today, as you no doubt know, we are talking about the legend of Robin Hood. Hood. Now, when you think of Robin Hood, you probably think of like the noble outlaw who steals from the rich and gives it all to the poor. Sorry to disappoint, but that's not what Robin Hood was like in real life. So, join us as we uncover the mystery of Robin Hood. Like we said, Robin Hood exact wasn't exactly who we think he is. He didn't always wear green, and he wasn't exactly the noble outlaw we know him for. He was, however, a really good archer, and far superior to other archers at his time. He didn't particularly steal from rich people. He mostly just stole from whoever came through his forest. And a lot of times he was quite, quite brutal. And also, as much as we'd like to say he gave the money to the poor, he mostly just kept it to himself. So why do we know Robin now as the hero? Well, the first mention of Robin was in a song written by minstrels, which were the common day musicians at the time. And he was depicted as somewhat the hero. And then the first time he was mentioned in, like, written form was in a poem in 1377. And at the time, the common people were heavily enforced with laws, and they couldn't keep, get to keep much of what they were able to sow and to reap and harvest. So they aspired to someone who would be able to just break the laws and do whatever the heck he wanted and live in the forest with all his merry men. So, and as time went on, he became more of a good guy. They also added characters that probably didn't exist, like Friar Tuck and Maid Mary and all these other characters. They didn't exist. They do have mention in historical documents about Little John, though. So he was probably real. So, rest assured, all you Little John fans. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and I also hope we didn't permanently destroy your view of Robin Hood. And so, thanks for watching, and join us next time on British TV and stuff.